Hello my crafty friends, it's Liz here at Liz the Paper Project. So much to share with you today. My new digitals are here and I really love how they came out. So this page is supposed to be used as like tearing strips or washi tape um, or actually you could just use it as a page in your journal. This page is collaged with uh, different French fabrics and French um, type of ephemera. Again, you can see how gorgeous it would look as a page or you can use it just as a collage page and cut out the different pieces. And then this one here, I love the ovals. I actually love to cut ovals more than circles for some reason. I'm better at it. I don't know. And then the other pieces I have, you can make tags with them, journaling cards, um, you know, whatever you want with them. So I just really love how they have come out. So I used one of the little ephemera pieces for a pocket. The other one I just used as little labels here and there. You can see these are the pieces from my kit. Um, and um, we're also going to be making the projects today. So we'll be making this little doily dress. And we're also going to be making a um, six pocket one page ephemera holder. And I absolutely love it. Not my ideas. I've seen so many of these um, on social media and I've oh my gosh I made one of these dresses like four years ago <laughs> so I'm just making them again and I wanted to show you just one of the pieces from my ephemera again I just cut this one out and made it into a little tag just by cutting the corners but you can always make them like I said into journaling cards if you um, you know round the corners from them okay so this is what we'll be making and I really love 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 it so you've got six pockets from one page which i really love that type of project this is one of the ovals in my kit and i thought i would do this is punch up two little holes on it and then i can wrap it around a package before i send it off to a friend i thought it would look so cute and i love all the florals with it as well so this little pocket just has some labels in it as you can see here and then the center here has a nice large tag then you flip it and you've got more little pockets and again, this is my ephemera. I made this one into a tag again and this one into a tiny little label, which I thought was super cute. And then you've got your other pocket in the center and then you open it up and then you have two more pockets here. So it's six pockets with one eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. I have other projects showing you one page um, crafts like this and I really like it. Look how cute this came out, like a little tag with the little ephemera piece. And these are just little pieces that I've added, um, you know, things you can send to your pen pal or in snail mail. This little glassine bag is from a tattered dream and I just added a little piece of ephemera in there. So aren't these super cute? Look at all the stuff you can add into them. So I'll definitely be making plenty more. I've got one more to show you and then I'll show you how to make it in the video. So you can see here, um, again, I've used double-sided paper. So I actually printed um, on the one side of the scrapbook paper. Here you've got the pocket coming out in the center and not the top like the other one I had shown you. And then you've got your two little pockets again. Um, these are just ephemera pieces, Digital Collage Club, and from a tattered dream, like the little tag here. And then again, you've got your other little uh, pocket and then the one on the back. I absolutely love, love, love this cute little project. So from the projects I share with you today, let me know which one you like best, the doily or the um, six pocket ephemera holder. Leave a comment below and let me know. Um, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell um, and uh, like the video if you like this style of video and also check out my other tutorials. I definitely have lots on my channel. So again, here I'm just giving you a quick share of the digital pages that are now in my shop. I really love florals, as you can see, and I'm just showing you again how you can make this into a, a page in your journal. Same with this one. I really love the colors. They're just so spring-like, and I just, I want spring. We're in winter right now in Canada, in Ontario. That's where I am. And it is winter and it's just cold and blah. So I can't wait for spring gorgeous flowers. And here I'm just showing you, you can cut all these up and just, you know, make them into your little own little paper strips. Um, they can look like washi strips or just in your collages. Anyways, let's get started with the six pocket um, ephemera holder. So this is an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. 
And what I did is I printed my designs on both sides. And here I'm just going to fold it in half. And this uh, project I love because it's just all about folding and there's not a lot of cutting, which is one of my favorite things as well. So you've got it in half and then you fold one end towards the center and just make sure that you don't get past the uh, center line of your score. And then you take your other side and do the same thing. And then make sure that you've got everything nice and crisp with your lines. That kind of makes for a nicer fold when you do that. I'm just going to take my bone folder and make sure I've got a crisp line here. I hope you're enjoying this how-to. I thought I would share two in one video this time for you. So here you fold the corner in, in, um, in towards the center and you're, you're left with this little triangle. And then you're going to do it again on the other side. So if you're using, you know, scrapbook paper that you've cut to this size, uh, if it's double sided, it's nice. If you're just using um, an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper with one side that is printed, then your little ephemera holder will just have some white space um, on the page because it really depends on where your pattern is. And also I like using patterns that don't have like a, a, a certain, you know, way that they're supposed to go up or down. Okay, so you've got them folded this way and now you just fold them together. And then again, you're going to make sure that they're, they're nice and even and flat and you score your lines. And then you fold it in half again. So this is your little ephemera holder. Now, in order to make the center pockets, you decide where you want to add your glue. So for this one here, if I wanted to have top pockets, I would add glue to the sides. So um, here I would add glue if I wanted side pockets, or I would add glue to these sides if I wanted top pockets. I'm sure that kind of makes sense. So now I'm just going to show you, um, you know, where the pockets are again. So it depends if I want to make my pocket on the top, I would add glue to the sides there. And um, now you can see just how cute it looks. And of course you can embellish this all you want. I like that you can stuff this and put it in an envelope and send it off to a friend. And it's just a nice little, you know, folded paper that has so much ephemera that they can use. So of course you can make this nice and themed, etc. Okay, friends, let's get started with the little doily dress. It's one of my favorites and it's again, super easy to do. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe, etc., etc. Here's the little doily dress. So for this project, you'll need two doilies. Now they have to be the same size, but it really doesn't matter what size of doily you use. So for this project, I ended up using a smaller size doily, as you can see here. So the smaller one, I think it's four inch size, and you'll need two of those to make this little dress. So the first thing we do is you take one side and you fold it towards the um, opposite side, just getting close to the design. So you see how I've done that there. So it's not in half, but you're just getting close to that other side. And then you can either fold your, your bottom up or your top down, depending on how you wanna do it. But then you end up with this shape. Okay, so that's your first step into your little doily dress. Let me know if you've made these before or if you're going to make one. I think they'd be so amazing to, um, you know, to add to your sewing themed, um, you know, projects or even like a little, that looks like a little wedding dress for like a wedding card. I think it'd be so adorable. Okay, so I'm getting the second doily because you'll need the second part to make that top. So you take your doily you fold it in half, and this time you can match the halves. And then you fold it again. And then we're going to fold it one more time. So you are left with four equal little sections if you've got your doily in half. So I'll show you again. You've got your four sections as you can see here. 
then um, I, I'm using this one again because I've already used one part of it. So you'll take one little section off at the line, as you can see here. And then you save the rest for your other little doily dresses that you'll be making. And then, as you can see here, I'm just going to glue these together because it just makes them a little stronger if you glue them together. So I'm just going to do that here. And here you can use your favorite adhesive. It could be your double-sided tape, etc., or even your um, glue stick. And then on this side, I'm just looking to see how it's going to turn out. You're going to cut the little point off to make it a nice straight line so you can see how it's looking like a little skirt waist there and now you're going to take the, this piece here the top piece and you're going to glue it on the inside of the first fold okay so I'm just going to grab my glue and just kind of looking at where I want it to go now imagine if you had sprayed your doilies different colors or if you've coffee stained them or tea stained them and now you've got different kind of colors of little uh, dresses um, you can always watercolor them afterwards or do the coloring after as well but I think it would just be so cute to have different colors of these done so now we're just gluing the top little part to our little um, uh, skirt top and then the next thing I like to do, see here, you can kind of see the little um, skirt still movable. I like to add either a ribbon or um, a little washi tape, as you can see here. Um, you can add some sari silk ribbon, whatever you want. You can decorate it with like beads or just different types of ephemera to just really make it nice and fancy. But just for the purposes of the video, I'm just going to show you with a little piece of washi tape. And um, it depends on how you angle it as well or your design. You know, it can just be um, really different. So I'm just going to be adding my little washi tape piece and then that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the share, my friends. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to let me know which project you enjoyed best. Stay tuned. I've got a lot more coming up. I've got some more videos that I'm editing that I'll share with you. Uh, please remember to check my blog because I seem to be updating that a little bit more now and I will see you next time. Thanks so much for stopping by.